Welcome back to The Gentleman Psychic. Today, I want to talk to you about spirit communication via the seance. Now, in these dark times that we are currently finding ourselves, many of us are reaching out to spirits that are beyond, trying to find answers. Now, I did one such thing in a seance most recently with a group of friends, and this person came through under the initials of JP. The friend asked, J.P. Morgan, and I went, no, I know who this is. This is Jack Parsons. Now, even though I know Jack, for those of you who may not understand or know who he was, I'll, I'll tell you a little bit about Jack Parsons before I get into the seance part. Jack was not only a rocket scientist, he was also a, an occultist. He was a follower of Aleister Crowley and a Thelemite. He was the head of the OTO here in Southern California. He, of course, was an occultist. Now, there's some strange things that, that had occurred. I'm not going to go into that. However, I will tell you a little about the seance. So, when I conduct a seance, I do not put my fingers on the planchette so that nobody can accuse me of manipulating the board. Well, it just so happens that after they inquired who was here, JP came up and he said, join in. I was the only one in the room that did not have their fingers on the planchette, so I said, okay, I will join. I placed my fingers delicately on the planchette, and I said, Jack, what is your message? And he spelled out C-R-J-1-K, and I went, I don't know what that means. I have no idea what that means whatsoever, no idea. The fellow said, well, that may be a rocket ship, maybe. Come to find out a little bit later, I'll tell you that, yes, it was a rocket ship. I said, okay, Jack, what is your, what is your message for me directly? And he spells out book. And I went, okay, yes, Jack, I am supposed to be writing a book. You are not the only living spirit or dead spirit or cor non-corporeal spirit that has told me I need to write a book, I have to write a book, I'm supposed to write a book. He says to me, H.H. H. Holmes. Well, now this frightened everyone. I am filming right now before a live studio audience. I have guests, so uh, when you come, you are, you are actually lucky because you might be able to sit in on one of my readings, one of my one of my recordings, too. I do ask that when you do come, that you turn your phones down. Beyond that. Um, so, where was it? Oh, yes. Yeah. So, uh, CRJ-1000 uh, is a rocket ship. And then he spelled out book, and then he spelled out H.H. H. Holmes. Now, this frightened everyone around, because H.H. H. Holmes was the premier serial killer. He was, in fact, a terrible human being who murdered people at the Chicago World's Fair way back a long time ago. So this, this scared my guests, and, and I went, no, well, I played H.H. H. Holmes. I've played him a couple of times on Elevator, and there was a music video I did. I've played H.H. H. Holmes. Maybe, maybe Jack is just saying, with the mustache, you could be H.H. H. Holmes, and I, maybe. So after they left, after my guests left... I googled, and CRJ-1000 was an experimental rocket, sh a jet propulsion engine that, um, that later came into production after the death of Jack Parsons. And then the, the, I looked for, for book, Jack Parsons, Pasadena, H.H. H. Holmes, and I came up with this book called Rocket to the Morgue. I'll show you. Rocket to the Morgue, it was written by Anthony Boucher, whose pen name was that of H.H. H. Holmes. Now, in all of this fantastical journey, you, you've, I'm not going to spoil it for you, but in this fantastical journey, you have murders in locked rooms, and that they are trying to figure out, is it the Invisible Man, or is it some sort of fourth dimensional being, or is it some sort of, is he rearranging his molecules? All of these very far out science, scientific science fiction thoughts way out there. It, the, the answer is a lot more simple than what it sounds like. But really, what Jack Parsons was telling me was that in this book, 
this group of writers, they, they, they belong to a society called the Mignana Society. And you would ask them, what book are you writing? Because they're all science fiction writers. What book are you writing? Oh, I've got this great novel. I have this great novel that I'm working on. It's so great. Really? How fascinating. When are you going to write it? Uh, tomorrow. So they became known as the Manana Society, not only because their, their writings were futuristic, but also because they would procrastinate and they would say, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. But in this modern world, tomorrow is not promised to anybody. So, do what you can today. Live for today, as the old song goes. Sha na 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 na. Live for today. Don't worry about tomorrow. And that is my entire point of this for you, my friends, is that we can reach out to those who have gone on before, but really past or present or future, the, the most important thing right now is the present. Focus right now, all of your energy now on healing. Focus now your energy on growing. Focus now your energy on manifesting a brighter tomorrow. With that, this has been The Gentleman Psychic. Thank you for all the likes, the shares, the comments. Speaking of which, make certain that you subscribe here and check out these other videos. With that, until next time, have a beautiful day.